Hello YouTube, welcome to my review of the Maxim Military Commemorative Liner Lock Knife. Some of the features you'll see right here, black stainless steel honed blade, black anodized aluminum handle, thumb stud, and clip, aluminum case, and of course your favorite limited lifetime warranty. So pretty simple here, not too much. Um, the package is designed in the USA, the blade is designed in the USA, but it is made in China, so uh, that's, that's all that. You'll see it comes in this little box here, and if you open that up, you get a, a commemorative case. Um, the case looks pretty good, but in reality it's pretty cheap, so I don't know what you really expect for 27 bucks or so. Open it up, you're greeted with the military commemorative in honor of those that served, and then the knife itself um, in an open position. Pull it out. First thing you'll notice is the heft. It's actually pretty hefty for an aluminum handle and a blade, um, steel blade here. You have these two finger grips on both sides of the knife um, to help you control it when you're closing it. Um, it's your standard leaf lock mechanism here, um, which you can click and then close. A um, pretty hefty belt clip, which I had it in my pocket lots of times, and it stays nice and secure. It's, it's very firm here. Um, you also have some grip slits in the base and the handle. Um, the handle's pretty big. It's very easy to hold. I think if you had big hands, you could have good um, control of it. I have medium to small hands and I could still seem to hold it pretty well. You have your thumb um, stud right here so for a quick open you can do that. Um, and then on the front you'll see it says the same thing military commemorative in honor of those that have served. Um, that's pretty much the outside. You also have a hole right here if you want to put a clip on it. Let's see, There you go. See the hole there. You want to put a clip or a paracord or something to hold it through. Um, it is a single side. It looks dual sided, but in this side right here is not sharp at all. Um, possibly you could sharpen it, but I don't know if you'd really want to. Um, and then you have the blade side here. Um, the, the locking mechanism, of course, there. Quick. If you prep it a little bit, you can definitely flick it. Um, it's pretty tight. Uh, the, the craftsmanship of the handle actually feels really good. Um, very secure, the mechanism is firm, uh, but not too loose. Um, and I like the solid black aluminum handle. Um, like I said, it's got a good heft to it. You can see right here. Maybe you can see right here. Well. You can't see it. I'll read it. It just says limited production, military issue, USA design, handcrafted in China. So at least it's handcrafted. That means somebody's hands actually assembled it most likely. So and that's that. The case, like I said, it's pretty cheap feeling in all honesty. It's super light. Um, but I mean, if you put it on your nightstand or something, it would serve its purpose. And, you know, it's a con com commemorative knife. So um, in action, the blade straight out the box not very sharp um, I'll give you a little test here got a little piece of cardboard um, you can go through the cardboard okay but the paper test it doesn't do so well on pretty resistive but you can see it gave it a, a decent cut see. if I force it through it will go um, so it's not really that sharp um, but I didn't try to sharpen it at all, any extra sharp, so. And then a piece of paper for the paper test. Just don't, don't quite get it there. Just tears, so you know it's really not quite that sharp. But if you want a pretty light knife to look at in a case, commemorate those that have served. Um, it's a fine knife. It will do most things for you. Don't use it as a screwdriver. It says right in the box. Um, and that is my review of the Maxim Military Commemorative um, Knife.